Guess I'm your new neighbor. Honey, hi. 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 Uh. Because potentially, if it help us unify physics, it would be absolutely incredible. Uh, juice box. <laughs> It's pretty typical for people to move into shared flats. Hello, it's Laure, your friendly neighborhood physicist. Today is Friday night, it's raining like hell in Paris, so I figured we would watch together the first episode of The Big Bang Theory and do a reaction. I'm a physicist, I watched it when I was starting my physics studies at the Bachelor at the EPFL a couple of years ago, not too long, don't check it out. So it's gonna be fun to rewatch it with like grown up, experienced eyes. Excuse me. Hang on. Uh, one across is Aegean. Eight down is Nabokov. Twenty-six across is MCM. Fourteen down is your finger. Phylum, which makes fourteen across port of France. Can I help? Yes. I forgot that the opening. It's actually really funny. If you work in science, you have a few guys who like explaining stuff and don't get the joy of just doing something funny by yourself. Not that many. I also totally forgot they were going to a sperm donation bank. That doesn't seem like the Sheldon we know. Well, man, the first bank? atom. No. You want to hear an interesting thing about stairs? <laughs> After eating. If the height of a single step is off by as little as two millimeters, most people will trip. I don't come here. Two millimeters? That doesn't seem right. No, it's true. I did a series of experiments when I was 12. My father broke his clavicle. <laughs> so how did they sent you to boarding school? No, that was the result of my work with lasers. <laughs> Oh, I totally forgot about that. There is all these references to to Chalon's childhood. I think they did a spin-off tea, so it would be really fun to see listed all of the stuff that he supposedly did in his childhood and actually made them in the TV show. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi? Okay, well, guess I'm your new neighbor. Honey. Leonard, Sheldon. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Invited her for lunch? No, we're going to start season two of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Nobody watched the season two DVDs. Not with commentary. <laughs> I think we should be good neighbors. This is unrelated, but my first serious relationship, my boyfriend was so proud to show me Battlestar Galactica. It was this huge TV show at the time, and to be honest, it's really good. It becomes a bit slow as the first seasons go down, but like the first seasons, really, really good stuff. <laughs> So this many memories. Like serious stuff. Leonard, did you do this? Actually, that's my work. Wow. Yeah, well, there's just some quantum mechanics with a little string theory doodling around the edges. That part there, that's just a joke. It's a spoof of the Born Oppenheimer approximation. So you're like one of those beautiful mind genius guys. Yeah. This is really impressive. I have a board. My boards. This is my board. Holy smokes! If by holy smokes you mean a derivative restatement of the kind of stuff you could find scribbled on the wall of any men's room at MIT, sure. <laughs> what? Come on. Who hasn't seen this differential below here? I sit brokenhearted. <laughs> at least I didn't have to invent 26 dimensions just to make the math come out. I didn't invent them. They're there. In what universe? In all of them. Then that is the point. Uh, do you guys mind if I start? Um. That's pretty funny. If you're not a scientist, you don't realize how much of a big deal it is. Because potentially, it would help us unify physics. And if we manage to make it work, it would be absolutely incredible. But the thing is that the equations are so, so, so complicated that no one really solves everything. So hundreds of really smart physicists are working on trying to solve these integrals that are very difficult. And hopefully, if it works, they could prove that it works. So what... Lennon is complaining right now it is 26 dimensions because the only way you can make the theory work is to just add more dimensions and that seems slightly odd. Personally, I'm taking Lena out of the board because there is statistical physics and a little bit of energy and I really had so much fun doing that in physics. I probably should have chosen that kind of topics for my PhD. At least the math would have been really intense, you know. But to be honest, in like both cases, when I look at the board, I don't see anything extraordinary. It's it's math about each of these topics. Um, Penny, that's where I sit. You're in the spot. Sit next to me. Oh. No, I She's said really there. cute. <laughs> What's the difference? 
A fun fact is that the actress who plays Amy in the TV show is actually a scientist herself and with a PhD on everything. And so in the show, we're not sure about math, she could, or science, she could correct or propose fun facts. And apparently it really improved the quality of some of the replicas. It's kind of funny because it's the first episode and they don't spend that much time being obnoxious. Sheldon's signature move is explain the definition of a thing in a very monotone down. And he hasn't done that too much yet. And the character is still developing. Ooh, but we're gonna meet Wedge and Howard, no? I think it's coming soon. Where will you see this? It's fantastic. I'm a college... See what? It's a Stephen Hawking lecture from MIT in 1974. This isn't a good time. It's before we began our creepy computer bar. Howard is this massive creep. I actually knew a guy at university who was not dressed like that, but he was also really creepy with women. It was actually a pretty decent portrayal. And the other thing that was kind of shocking at the time, because I came from a class of artists and Latin, Latin students, is that all of the guys seemed to think that it was fine and he was just taking his shot when it was really, really creepy. Like, Howard is such a creepy character in the show, it's crazy. And then the other guy is called Raj. Okay, I don't know any Indian who dresses like that. Like, even the biggest geeks I've met, and I've worked with quite a few Indians, they would just dress with, like, a very boring shirt or polo and pants, but not actually wear this kind of, like, pro-American 90s outfit. I don't know. It's kind of weird, no? Hang on, there really is a lady here? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Have you seen Howard's belt? Okay, that's actually ooh, in a good accessory. I have to say, Is I approve. Uh huh. And you want us out because you're anticipating coitus? He's <laughs> not anticipating coitus. Oh, hi, sorry. Hello. All <laughs> chante, mademoiselle. <laughs> Howard Wallowitz, Caltech Department of Applied Physics. You may be familiar with some of my work. It's currently orbiting Jupiter's largest moon, taking high resolution digital photographs. It's so hey, creepy. And this haircut factory. is horrible. Oh, I'll show you the trick with the shower. Hey, uh, can I ask you a favor? A favor? Sure, that shower curtain is really cool. You? Like, if I find it one time and I actually it's install okay it in no. my own oh, uh, bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Come on. It's a pretty it's nice touch. Kind of thing you ask a guy you just met. Favor? I really think we should examine the chain of causality here. Must we event A, a beautiful woman stands naked in our shower. What the fake green screen behind the car. I'm pretty sure they kept it because it became a tradition in the show. You know, at some point, you just have to keep the cheating green a semi-rational link between these events. The crappy green screen. She asked me to do her a favor, Sheldon. Ah, yes. Well, that may be the proximal cause of our journey, but we both know it only exists in contradistinction to the higher-level distal cause. Which is? Leonard, the two of us can't even carry a TV. So, you guys work with Leonard and Sheldon at the university? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, do you speak English? Oh, he speaks English, he just can't speak. I forgot that Sash cannot talk to women. That was actually a really hilarious character trait. But you know, I have to say, from a science perspective, when you're 18 and you just enter, there's quite a few guys in science who are still forward. It improves around 22, 23, but the statistics and the stereotypes are not entirely wrong. I think the studies show it's the historians who have the most, most action during the studies. Oh, he speaks English, he just can't speak to women. <laughs> really? Why? He's kind of a nerd. Juice <laughs> <laughs> we should... I'll do the talk. How the hell did you get in the building? Oh, we're scientists. <laughs> Tell them about All right. Well, I was a day see Chibulu. I love Shadow. I'm really sure that was sarcastic. <laughs> oh, poor guys. Leonard. Oh, what? the sneaker, My the corner as we start. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to call her. <laughs> Shit done. You know, they managed to make him say really funny stuff in a very serious tone, and he's not that day bro, you know? He's doing the weird to all the changes. There's actually remarkably little science, as I've done my own 
doctorate degree, fought and got it all. I have to say, like, it's pretty typical for people to move into shared flats. Also in Switzerland, because the rent are so expensive, when you come from abroad, you have no furniture, you don't know when you're going to get fired on your, like, one month contract, whatever is going to end. So it actually makes sense that both of them move together. And now I have a thought. You know, from rewatching the episode, you might ask yourself, like, why would Lena put up with Shetland? But actually, when we meet his mom, you know, like in other seasons, she is really weird as well. And so it would make sense if Lennon is used to handling his mom, then he can also handle Sheldon because he's very similar. Hmm. This was a really fun episode to watch, you know, like, I hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed spending this time with me. And I'm going to do some more of that things because it's just relaxing and fun. It's bringing so much memories about my own studies. And growing up, I uh, like seeing how much the shows and I have evolved in all of these years. Not that many, you know, but still. <laughs>